Hello all you blood pressure warriors. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether drinking alcohol affects your blood pressure. Several factors contribute to elevated blood pressure numbers and depending on your lifestyle and other medical conditions, alcohol could be one of them. This is especially true if you're a heavy drinker. Let's look at the various ways in which alcohol could affect your blood pressure by answering four important questions. Question number one, are you just a social drinker who consumes drinks at social gatherings? If you're just a light social drinker, it may not affect your blood pressure. Every drink causes an acute increase in your blood pressure, but this rise in blood pressure usually resolves itself in a few hours. If after a couple of drinks you call it a day and don't drink anymore, your blood pressure will come back to normal and you'll have nothing to worry about. The problem arises when you keep having more than two drinks a day regularly. The quick rise in your blood pressure doesn't get a chance to settle back down. It stays elevated. When that happens, it could have long-term negative consequences to your health. Question number two, are you a binge drinker? Now binge drinking could cause a chronic elevation in your blood pressure numbers. This is because regular alcohol consumption might harden or constrict the arteries. And this could lead to a heart failure or a stroke if not controlled. It gets worse if you're already a high blood pressure patient and on medications. Large amounts of alcohol could interfere with certain medicines. This may cause the drugs to not work at their full potential. Another reason binge drinking increases blood pressure is the high amounts of sugar in alcohol. This could lead to obesity. Overweight people see a rise in the number of fatty tissues that increase the resistance of blood vessels. As a result, the heart has to work harder to pump blood and this increases blood pressure. Question number three, does the type of alcohol matter? Having red wine occasionally was, was once attributed to better heart health, but that's more due to the polyphenols in the wine. Polyphenols improve the cell lining of the blood vessels. The alcohol in the wine is as bad for your blood pressure as the alcohol in any other type of alcohol-based drink. Ultimately, it's not the type of alcohol that determines a shift in your blood pressure, but the amount you consume. Question number four. So how much alcohol is safe to drink? Well, according to standard guidelines from the American Heart Association, men shouldn't have more than two drinks a day. Women are likely to be safer with no more than one drink per day. A lower number of drinks is even better for your high blood pressure. Cutting back on your drinks is a good idea if you want to normalize your blood pressure readings. However, if you've been a heavy drinker for a long time, you should exercise caution. Reducing consumption by too much at one go could also elevate your blood pressure. When someone's excessively dependent on alcohol, an abrupt reduction could cause psychological distress. Sudden withdrawal symptoms often include a severe increase in blood pressure that could last for several days. It's recommended that you follow a systematic approach for withdrawal under the guidelines of a professional medical expert. In summary, heavy drinking drinkers do have a risk of high blood pressure, but it all comes down to your overall lifestyle. There's no rule with regards to alcohol that you could blindly follow, but there are good recommendations. In addition to cutting back on your drinks, you should focus on other key aspects of your health. Some of them include exercise, diet, stress management, and sleep. All of these factors play their part in controlling your blood pressure numbers. Hey, do you have high blood pressure and drink alcohol? What kind of rules do you have around it? And what was, has your doctor told you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. 
And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.